Okay, so this is going to be my weekly makeup basket. I had a video filmed and ready to upload for yesterday, but I had forgotten to film before it started getting dark, and so I had to film in my car on the way back from work. I had pulled over into the post office because I checked the post office, and it was a vlog-style weekly makeup basket. I didn't think that you guys would be interested in that, so I just held off until today. Anyway, let me go through and show you the makeup that I'm going to be wearing this week. So first off, for my eye base, it's, as usual, this is my Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in copper, and this is just one of the little mini ones that you can get in a set. That is it right there. It's just a really, it's a very shimmery shade. There it is on my hand. It just catches the light in just the right way, I think. You can wear these all over by themselves as an eyeshadow. You can put them down as an eyeshadow base. You can put them in your waterline. You can buff them out in your crease. These are extremely multifunctional and I absolutely love them. Moving on to my eyeshadow palette. So obviously I have the Lorac Pro. I'm trying to pan this this year and then I did this look with the Lorac Pro today and I really liked it, so I feel like I'm going to do some more purple looks. I might even do this look a couple times this week, so I wanted to pull in another purple, purple shadow. This one is the Cargo Cosmetics Eyeshadow Single in the shade Province, and that is it right there. It has a really pretty sheen to it. Let me give you a swatch. like. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it's very beautiful. And I know it doesn't seem like they would go together, like the purple look with the gold, but you can't see it underneath. Like I have the, I have the caviar stick underneath my eyeshadow today and it doesn't look warm today in my opinion. So. For some eyeliners, I have two pencil liners here. This first one, this is the Vasanti Extreme Rose Gold Eyeliner. This came out of Birchbox. Um, I'm using this one in place of my Rimmel Scandalize liner in nude for the waterline, so that is it right there. It's a really pretty shade. And then I also have the liner that's in my waterline and underneath my bottom lash line is the Makeup Forever Aqua Liner or Aqua Eyes Eyeliner in the shade 12L. It's a really pretty kind of bluish, almost has a little bit of green to it. That is it right there. I think this one's stunning. So I'm definitely going to be having this one in my waterline for a little bit this week. For the upper lash line, I decided to go back to an old faithful. This is my MAC Black Track Fluid line and this is just a black gel liner from MAC. That is it there. I love this stuff. Absolutely love this stuff. This is my hands down favorite liner I've ever used. And if I wanted to, if I wanted black in the waterline, this works very well in the waterline. And it stays on my waterline all day long. I know some people have issues with this coming out of their waterline, but this is like completely 100% budge proof for me. Then for my mascaras, I have the Clinique Bottom Lash. It just has a really teeny tiny little wand. It's very small. And then for the upper lashes, I have the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. Let me show you this wand here. If you're thinking about picking up the roller lash, there's actually a technique that you use when you wear it. So that is the wand there. And when you apply it, you actually want this kind of domed shape upwards towards your upper lashes. And then you kind of grab your lashes and pull that dome outwards. Does that make sense? So you would put it like this and then twirl it out when you're doing your lashes. That is probably my absolute favorite way to apply this. I've noticed that this is starting to dry out, but I think it'll hang around for maybe two, two and a half weeks, hopefully. So there's that. And then for my eyebrows, I wanted to do something a little bit different since my hair is black now. So I pulled out the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Tough is Taupe. It's just a gray, kind of taupey gray shade. It's matte, so it works great in the eyebrows. That is it there. I have it in today, and then over the top of that, I just have the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. This is just the clear one. 
It's running out, but I feel like there's still a ton of product in here. I know I'm over halfway finished up with this. Moving on to some face products. <laughs> I'm playing around with two different ones this week. So first off, I have the Revlon Colorstay Whipped Foundation. This one's in 150 buff, and I really enjoy this foundation, actually. I feel like the longer that it's on your skin, the better that it looks. That is the inside of it there. It's a little bit dark for me, but I feel like I can make it work. I really do enjoy that foundation. It's a little bit thicker and more full coverage than I'm used to, but I'm also testing out this Clinique oh, Super Balance Foundation. This one is in the shade Alabaster. This is a bit dark for me as well. But I have it on today. I feel like it looks great. That's the shade of it there. Um, I've been trying to play around with some different foundations lately to pick up a new one for the VIB sale. And I feel like I'm probably going to go with the Clinique one. I'm just not 100% sure as of right now. If you guys have tried out this Super Balance Foundation and you enjoy it, you don't like it, let me know your opinions on it. Or if you have dry skin like I do and you have a favorite foundation that I haven't mentioned or I haven't tried out yet, please let me know. Um, I don't really like a completely full coverage foundation, but I do like a little bit of coverage, somewhere between a light and a medium right in there. For concealer, I have two of them. I have this... Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Concealer Pen. This one's in the shade Radiant. It just comes with a little kind of, you know, clicky pen with the brush tip applicator. And then my other concealer is going to be the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer. And I've actually cut this open. I scraped everything out of here and I put it into this old Maybelline tattoo container. And that's what I have left in there of that concealer. I'm thinking I'm going to try and hold off on purchasing this until the VIB sale in November because then it'll be 20% off instead of the 15. But this is my absolute favorite Holy Grail concealer. It's it's going to be rough for me for a couple of months, but you know, I'll live. For my powder this week, I have the Physicians Formula Face Powder. This one is one of their multicolored pressed powders in the shade Buff, but I've actually repressed mine so it's not multicolored in here anymore, but I really have been enjoying this since I repressed it. And then for my bronzer, I have just a little teeny bit left in my NARS Laguna Duo here, so I'm gonna use this probably tomorrow and I might be finished tomorrow or it might be the next day. So obviously I'm gonna be finishing that one off really early this week. So I pulled out this guy to replace it. This is the MAC Sculpt and Shape Powder in the shade Bone Beige and Emphasize. This was specifically from the Rocky Horror Picture Show collection that was released last fall. So this is what the inside of it looks like there. I'm just gonna be using this bronzer right on this side over here. So, for my blush, I have a Chanel blush this week. I pulled out the Chanel powder blush in the shade 160, which is Innocence. I believe this was a limited edition shade for spring of last year. I'm not entirely sure, but that is the product in there. There it is on the back of my hand. I really love this blush. It's very light. It's very easy to wear. It doesn't have any like major shimmer particles in it or anything. So it's a really beautiful blush and it does smell like roses. <laughs> so that's pretty fun. And then for my highlighter, I'm going to pull out a Physicians Formula product again. This one is one of their powder palettes in the Mineral Glow Pearls. And this one specifically is the Translucent Pearl. They do have a couple of different shades of the glow pearls, but this one is translucent. Here it is in the container. Let me give you a swatch of this. This is really beautiful as well. It's kind of like a pearlized sort of sheen. Hopefully you'll be able to see this. I do have to build this one up just a little bit, but it's one of my absolute favorite drugstore highlighters. Alright, so I built it up a bit on my hand there. Hopefully you can see it right in that region there. 
This is the lipstick I'll be wearing this week. This is the L'Oreal Ferris Nude. You guys have seen this a gazillion times. That is it there in the container. Let me give you a super fast swatch. And there it is on the back of my hand. For something a little bit different, what I have on today, if I wanted to do like the purple look, I think this just complements it well. I have this little combo here. So this is the Clinique Chubby Stick Baby Tint. This one is in Flowering Freesia and I'll give you a swatch of this. These are really sheer moisturizing, sort of like a lip balm, but they do offer a bit of, of color. So there it is there on the back of my hand. Hopefully you can see that. There it is in the container. And then over the top of that, I have the Makeup Forever Lab Shine Lip Gloss. This one's from their Diamond Collection. They have a couple different collections. I think there's a Star Collection. My absolute favorite shade is S2 from the Star Collection. It's so beautiful. But this one is from the Diamond Collection. This is D8. So it has all of these gorgeous kind of purpley, pink, and silver sort of glittery shimmer particles in there. It's not gritty whatsoever on the lips. It's not sticky at all. These are my hands down favorite lip gloss formula in the entire universe. There is the Lab Shine gloss right there. Hopefully this will pick up the shimmer particles and you can see how beautiful this product is. It really is a stunning, beautiful product and I, I just love these. I love them. All right, on to my perfumes. I have my Ed Hardy Hearts and Daggers. This is going to be my main perfume that I spray on every single day and, you know, randomly throughout the day. And then I always like to keep a little perfume, either a little mini sprayer in my purse or a little roll-on like this. This is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana White Perfume. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of the whites. I feel like the black one's a little bit more my, you know, fragrance profile, but I'm just not as big of a fan of the white one. I've tried layering them. I don't like them layered. So I'm just going to try and work through this little sample of the Nirvana whites. But anyway, that is my makeup basket for this week. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.